Hi Sagittarius <clears throat> and welcome to your weekly love tarot reading. This is for the week of November 19th through November 25th, 2018. Happy birthday to all those Sagittariuses out there celebrating a birthday this week. So we are going to pull a card here to see what your overall energy is in regards to love and romance for this week. Okay, so we have the South Node. Don't let the past hold you back. So Sagittarius, uh, Mercury has gone retrograde in your sign and will pretty much be retrograding through Sagittarius until December 1st when it re-enters Scorpio. And uh, Jupiter has just returned to your sign. So there's a lot going on for Sagittarius, okay? And this is like a return of the past. Now, whether you are single, coupled, it doesn't really matter. Um, your past is returning. This could be literally a person coming back from the past. This could be old issues, old feelings, old emotions resurfacing in an existing relationship. If you're completely single, you could find yourself walking down memory lane this week and you could thank Mercury for that. However, with this here, um, this is in Sagittarius, your sign. It's all about the higher learning, <clears throat> the higher understanding. So if you find yourself walking down memory lane, <clears throat> sorry, I don't know why I have to keep clearing my throat, but if you find yourself walking down memory lane this week, you might find that it's because you're coming into a different understanding and perception of what was, why it didn't work, etc. <clears throat> Those of you where this is showing up in your current relationship, old things of the past resurfacing, it's so that you guys can work it out and finally release it and move past it, okay? If somebody's showing up from your past Sagittarius, um, you know, this is a general reading, so you have to decide whether they get another shot or not, okay? Um, but this is basically saying it's time to let the past go. Don't let emotional baggage, don't let what happened before, what happened in the past, like, don't let <clears throat> all of those things hold you back, okay? So let's um, pull some cards here. All right. Yeah. Focus on the good. Focus on your passion. Focus on, you know, all the reasons why you fell in love. Um, focus on the good aspects of your relationship. If you're completely single, maybe you've got to uh, regain your passion and excitement for love and romance so it can come in. All right, on the side we have give your relationship a chance. And over here we have true love. Okay, Sagittarius. So you've got to decide which side of the reading is speaking about you specifically. What I see coming out here is um, somebody either asking, hey, give this relationship a real chance, or somebody asking you, Sagittarius, hey, give this relationship a real chance because I really love you, all right? Those of you in existing partnerships, if there's been any sort of question about um, whether you belong together, I feel like you do. You've got to let the past go and overcome it, okay? Because we have give your relationship a chance and then we have true love on the other side, all right? Those of you single, single, um, looks like you got some adjusting to do in your energy. Even if you think you are 100% on point, according to this reading, um, we've got to open our energy up a little bit and we've got to let the past go somehow, okay? Um, if somebody's returning to you, Sagittarius, or you're deciding to return to somebody this week, um, there's real feelings involved, okay? This isn't pretend. So let's keep adding. All right, over here we have release. Yep, this is don't let the past hold you back. Whether it's emotional baggage, it's waiting around for something, you know, whatever it is for you personally, Sagittarius, don't let the past hold you back. Over here we have pleasure. Yep, 
So over here we have worry, concern, anxiety, what do I do? And over here we have I love you, you make me happy, you are all I want in this world, please hear me. Okay, so those are the two energies I'm picking up so far. So let's keep adding to this Sagittarius. All right, right there I feel. Okay, so third house messages. And over here, 10th house, the world. So third house is Gemini energy. 10th house is Capricorn energy. Sagittarius, listen. It's almost like um, this reading, somebody is trying to give the other person the world. And the person who's being offered the world isn't really believing it or trusting it or counting on it. Um, there's some anxiety, uh, especially if this is somebody returning from the past. Yeah, look at just as I said that the tower card flew out. Uh, some of you, not all of you, I really want to say that just because this is a general, but some of you this week is going to bring some shockaroos. Um, maybe what's returning from the past, the person and what they say to you, like you are the one Sagittarius, you are my true love from here forward. And I want to give you the world or Sagittarius, since this is general, it could be where you've finally come to this realization about somebody and you are choosing to return to them and let them know that they're everything to you. Now, those of you in existing relationships, um, it's, I really feel whatever has happened, we've got to let it go. There is love here. Okay. We've got to communicate and we've got to let the past go in order to move forward and not give up and not, um, continue to punish or hold somebody responsible for what's happened in the past, whether that's what you're doing or that's what somebody's doing to you. It's time to really release that energy and let it go really let it go move forward it, it's completed it's done it's finite all right um, the only way it still exists is inside somebody's heart and mind because they're they're having a hard time letting it go they're having a hard time healing they're having a hard time trusting again and um, this reading is like you know it's time it, it's really time and if you're completely single it's time to uh, maybe change the perception of show me the money to all right, I'm going to believe, I'm going to put myself out there, I'm going to focus on love, I'm going to focus on that it could happen to me, that there's true love out there, that there is somebody who wants to give me the world, okay? Two of coins, so we have a choice here, let the past go, or let somebody from the past back in, just depending on your current situation. Look at this, four of cups, Sagittarius, whoever returns to you, they really, really miss you. They really miss you. You are above. If you are trying to um, return back into somebody's life, it's like there's no question. They are the one, the one and only. Yep, because look at what's next. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So here is we have a choice to make. Choice is made. <laughs> Knight of Cups. Uh, choice is made for romance. Yep, and then Palace of Coins. So... This is like the ultimate um, beyond the ten of coins, okay? This is a lot of abundance. This is, I want to give you the world. So, Sagittarius, uh, some of you, this could be where, like, we're deciding to maybe move in together or make our commitment very official, very serious, very real. There, For some Sagittariuses, there's an elevation to the relationship here, but it has something to do with letting whatever happened in the past go, okay? Um, those of you in existing relationships, um, if we're trying to buy a house, you know, believe, okay, because it looks like things could uh, come through for you guys if there's any sort of struggle, all right, and if we're trying to decide, I think that, you know, you should go with it because there could be um, a purchase of a property here or a selling of a property here this week, and it's very exciting. Um, some of you could be... Uh, maybe traveling or being surprised with some sort of travel invitation or gift this week from your sweetheart. Just going to put that out there. And since some of you are having birthdays, it's, I guess, not such a surprise that you might be hearing 
from many people of the past. So, Sagittarius, let's um, pull some more cards. But whoever you're dealing with, if they're telling you that you are their true love, they are not lying to you, Sagittarius. They are not. Yep, look over here. Just keeps following suit. We have apprehension. And over here, achievement. Yep. So this is card 17. This is card 18. So, listen. Whether this is you, Sagittarius, that's suspicious, that's questioning, <clears throat> that's having a hard time letting the past go or letting somebody from the past back in, if that's you, uh, they really look like they're being legitimate, okay? Like, they want to be with you. Now, if this is reversed and you are truly desiring to get back with somebody, you know, you just have to persist in your efforts because they're really feeling nervous and afraid. And if you are dating somebody or pursuing somebody who's been really hurt in the past, Sagittarius, they are quite nervous to open up and let that go. What they, they absolutely need to, okay? They need to let that go in order for things to work out between the two of you. But if that's the case, they're not lying to you, you know? <clears throat> we just have to really communicate, and it looks like we can move forward and let the past go. Um, others of you, if there's some, like, new romance in your world, and you're still hanging on to some hope about somebody from the past returning, you might want to just shelf that for now and give this new romantic opportunity a chance because it looks like it could really go somewhere, okay? It really could go somewhere and they will pursue you to no end. Like they really want to be with you. They want to give you the world, all right? Um, they want everybody to know that you are theirs and that you guys are together. So if there's somebody who's trying to come in and you like them, but you're hoping and hanging on hope for the past, you might want to let that go for now and give this new opportunity a real chance, Sagittarius, because it looks like it could truly go somewhere, all right? Um, those of you in existing relationships, um, emotional baggage of the past, trouble um, that we've been dealing with, that all changes this week. This is a good week for love for Sagittarius, even though you look like you're really questioning things, feeling a bit insecure, um, in disbelief, doubt, <clears throat> fear. You don't need to be. It's like your partner is on board. Now, if you're dealing with somebody who's flaky, who's in and out, you can't count on them, you can't trust them, for anything, this is not about that person, okay? Um, that's probably what you need to let go of so that somebody who truly wants to give you the world it can come into your life, okay, Sagittarius? But ultimately, this is a very beautiful reading, and if somebody is trying to work on your relationship, they're really trying to be with you, they're really trying to come back in, they mean it 100%, okay? So, Sagittarius, those are your messages for this week. I'm wishing you all the very best. Take care.